Okay, okay, so welcome. The keen eyes of you will notice that a few things have changed, especially when I turn this camera around. There is no more Mars Bar logo on here. This is it for the office. Yeah. We're, we're moving out. Now obviously, as a lot of you will know, we have shared a lot of memories in this room over the last few years. I mean, I would go as far to say I built my entire career thus far from this room. So this isn't me saying this is it and I'm gonna leave. I'm doing an entire dedicated video on moving office, right? The start of a new series that I'm gonna be calling Mars Bar Weekly to give you lot a little bit more of an insight as to the things that go on in my life on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't really know what to say. I'm just really excited to be starting a new series that's gonna invite me to pick up this camera a little bit more. So with that being said, let's jump straight into episode one. So good morning, welcome to day, I don't even know what day this is, I suppose it doesn't really matter does Alex, we don't need structure. So I'm super happy today that it's sunny because I'm going up some ladders, basically you guys know Super Saf. What's up guys, Saf you're on Super Saf TV. Basically to uh, cut a long story short, he has a few properties in Leicester that are all connected together via a few of my wireless links. And one of those wireless links has completely stopped working because this morning I'm gonna go fix it. The really annoying thing is, as well, is Super Saf and I realized how close we are as YouTubers, like we should do more collabs, but then literally we realized all this, and then coronavirus hit last year, or whenever the hell it did, and we were just locked down. It's so nice now things are opening up again, and I can go and hang out with some other YouTubers, man. Like it's, it's a breath of fresh air, honestly. Okay, so basically the house that I'm currently at now has a great internet connection and it's Saf's parents' place. Now, Saf's parents' place shares its broadband with Saf and Saf's brother, Riz. And it was Riz that was having the problems. So I've replaced the dish on his house and now we're having our fingers crossed to hope that it's gonna work. Well, that's a bit mental. There is some really frustrating, annoying, loud work going on literally right outside my house and I'm gonna take this small pocket of opportunity while it's quiet to quickly talk to you lot. So, welcome to the office. I have some, um, I have some really cool plans today. I'm driving into my local town, Lincoln, to see my friend Paul, who is an absolute expert at water cooling and building computers. Now, this is the setup at the moment. I am over the moon with it. I've got my streaming PC at the top there, which I haven't used yet and then I've also got my older 7th gen Core i7 PC custom built down here with all of my logos and stuff. You can see it's literally got my logos in every which way you look at this PC. It's super super custom. It means a lot to me. It's gonna be hard to replace but it's getting slow and well it needs to be replaced really. So Paul has said look Alex don't worry come down to my workshop I will show you some of the cool things that I can do that we can do together to build you a new PC. So we're gonna go this morning to Lincoln and discuss all of this with Paul and check out his awesome, awesome workshop. So I think up here is Paul's office and literally right down here he has a coffee shop. Ideally that we can have, hopefully, a little coffee out. I hope I'm going in the right place. How you doing, mate? Yeah, good. So lunch or brunch over, or breakfast rather, <laughs> over with Paul. I'm now taking the lift up to his office. 
I'm really buzzed to see this, but I don't really know where I'm going. Okay, so what you're looking at behind me is this chap here's new office. You've had this place for what? A year, year and a half? Nearly Last a year, July? Nearly a year. So years ago, Paul was giving me demonstrations. I think it was for the Kef LS50s, wasn't it? Which yeah. I bought off you yeah. in Superfy. Now, Paul has scrapped Superfy and basically, I mean, you're an Instagram star, no? <laughs> It, and you're building computers and you're a water cooling genius. Is that what you'd say? Is this your most recent work? Yeah, man. Look at that in there, guys. Unreal. Look at that bendy pipe business. So what I'm thinking, Paul, is we, me and you, get on a live stream together. I'm basically well overdue a new PC, right? So, yep. what we say in AMD for, for editing? Yes. And we'll build a banging PC, obviously, Paul. Is it? Twist yeah, we'll put some twist in it. He's an expert at all this water cooling malarkey. I wouldn't even know where to begin. And obviously, you can see all these GPUs behind me. This is a bit mental. I'm kind of in heaven. And that is sick. Exit, go to auto loop, tell it to finish on B. You can change your speed at the top again. And that was 500 quid. That's insane. So much better here, look, at the, look at that. Yeah, baby. <laughs> very, very cool. Show you the camera, let me show you the camera. So guys, this is the water cooling tube. Give it a little, look at that. So it's like kind of it's flexible. Stack it in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, this is how you make water cooling pipes, right? With all the cool little bends in. You put rubber tubing in the center. Yeah. Heat it up. And then when it gets malleable, then you do your twist. So it literally just gets bendable and then yeah. you can just bend it. Yeah, and then it literally cools down and then you've got your bend. And then it's hardened. That's it. Okay, so Paul and I's plan is to, at some point in the next few months, I'm hoping in the next few months, if we don't get locked down again, for us to, well, me to buy loads of computer parts, bring it all here, and then for us to do like a four hour stream of me building my new PC, obviously with Paul's expertise in water cooling. Should be super fun. <laughs> Sick, that is mad. <laughs> That's excellent. Yeah. That was the original part for that. Okay, okay, um, I see, I see, I see. So you can see that's what it kind of looks like in practice, or sorry, in production, and then this is what you're making and what you're bending when it's heated up. Insane. Yeah, custom extensions, but these are by Reaper. So do you do light blue? Can we get light blue ones in for my build? My colour's light blue, that's my scheme. I'm sure we can get them to make them. <laughs> Sick. Oh, it's tiny. Um, M.2 underneath. Yeah. Which is obviously cooled. Okay, okay. We may be doing a small little PC build, meaning micro, no, is it mini ATX? Yeah. Mini ATX. Instead, because all my PCs so far have been huge towers, and I'm just fancying something a little bit different. And obviously, with Paul's expertise, I think we may be able to push that boat out a little bit. Because it's, it's definitely something that will stand you in, in better stead going forward. Whew. In the office on a Sunday today. Okay, so you may have noticed things look a little bit different around me. That's because I've had to completely remodel my office. I have a video coming about this really, really soon, a dedicated video on this channel. But for now, I need to thank today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Now, I have done a Skillshare course. It was about half a year ago about how to use a camera gimbal. I think it was by Garcia. And for those of you wondering actually what a gimbal is, it's one of these things that you put your camera on. Yeah, they're kind of intimidating, and that is why I really like Skillshare, because you can learn absolutely anything, and it's all intricate stuff, like gimbals, anything to do with cameras, GoPros, time lapses, hyperlapses, how to shoot insane interviews, and this is just camera-based stuff that I have found on Skillshare. Usually one thing I hate about learning myself is that you always have to start from the bottom, but with Skillshare, Skillshare, basically all of the courses that you find on there are split up into sections. So if you already know, for example, how to turn on your gimbal and use it, you can just skip straight to the bit that shows you how to use the little touch screen on here. It's honestly, Skillshare, for me, beats reading the manual. So, the first thousand of you that click my custom link in the description will get a one month free trial to Skillshare. Literally, for free. There you go. Only the first thousand of you, so be quick guys, and happy learning. Okay, so I'm super fed up to be honest with you. 
Basically, with this, this, not the actual car itself, I love the actual Defender itself, it's really cool, I love it that much in fact, I've just specced up another one, like a brand new one that I'm going to be taking delivery of in about four months time. But the problem is, is that I have spent probably five to six hours of my time completely installing a custom audio system into this Defender that I now need to remove. But for me to go ahead and try and show you this setup, I think we need to be somewhere a little more more private than my shared driveway. That's better. Let me uh, let me show you around. I can already hear questions already. Alex, why would you upgrade the audio system in your car? Why would you go through that grueling process? Mainly because I absolutely love music. It's one of the things that genuinely keeps me going. Without music, I don't know where I would be. And these are the pieces of paper that Land Rover called speakers that were in the car when I first bought them. Like these are literally just pieces of paper. They are absolutely trash. Just take my word for it. If you can't get a picture of how, like, what is this? Basically, it sounded like trash and there was only one, two, three, four, five, six speakers in the car. There's now nine. We've got the Hertz 10 inch subwoofer back here. This is actually a speaker or a subwoofer that I took from my old M2. Now, when I come to sell this car, I am gonna sell it privately. So what I'm not gonna do is put these pieces of crap back in the car. I'm going to basically keep my speakers that I put in, my bass speakers, but I'm just gonna take out these mid-range ones. Same thing goes for the back. I replaced the speakers here and then there was actually a space to add a tweeter. Obviously my car didn't have a tweeter. I've put this in here. As you can see, it's literally blue tacked in. I could be able to take that out like that. So that is just a little tweeter that I put in this car, which I'm going to remove. And then I can put the panel back on here. So I've just moved the car under this tree because I think it's literally about to rain. But as you can hear, it sounds banging in here now. Sounds great. And that is all about to come to an end. And there you have it. That is basically the inside of a door. And that is what goes to the door handle. So when you pull on that, this pulls the door handle open. And just in there, you can see the new JBL speakers that I have fitted. They are a damn sight better than the ones that came with the car. I mean, just look at that. Okay, so it's working. Now, I know a lot of people will say, Alex, why did you not just leave in the back doors these speakers in that you already had? And that's because these speakers in that you already had have a separate tweeter, as you guys saw, that lived in the door. And therefore, they had to have one of these things. This is called a passive crossover. So basically, this car, because it's a bit rubbish, it just sends one speaker cable to each door so if you want to have numerous different types of speaker in each door you have to have a crossover to take that one signal and split the highs and the lows does that make sense to send it to the correct speaker and this is our little tweeter that was in the door that is no more these ones that i've put in these are called component speakers not sure why they're called component speakers but basically they're a bass driver and a tweeter built into one. So with that in and all working, it's time to rebuild this door. So for those a little bit more interested about the crossovers, this is basically the crossover. You feed it one in and then it has some terminals out to go to a woofer and then terminals out to go to a tweeter. Now obviously I've replaced these with the single component speakers. Everything in there working absolutely fine. So all I now need to do is do the back door and then the front two. Atlas, can you do it for me, bro? I'm tired. Good boy.
Yeah, it's, no, you walk down here, look, and there's a bit of grassland. <laughs> Can you leave us alone, please, on your quad bikes? Okay, I need to wrap this up now. I'm honestly not sure how this video has even turned out because it's completely against everything that I built my career on on YouTube. I did daily vlogs and I narrowed down each video to a single day, whereas this is a whole video that's just got loads of different parts, so this could be really bad. However, if you have made it this far, I'm assuming you've enjoyed, so let me know what part of it you did down below, and then, well, hopefully I can carry on this Mars Bar weekly series and just intertwine it in with my other videos. I do hope you lot have enjoyed seeing a bit more of an insight about my life. But with that being said, guys, I will see you in the next one. Take it easy and peace.